Hi everyone. Today we're going to be learning about a special artist who created Care Bears. Care Bears are a fictional group of bear characters that were created by an artist named Elena Kucharik. She was hired to design these bears to be used on greeting cards for birthdays and other holidays. Her characters became so popular that they created stuffed animals out of them, like this one. Soon after the stuffed animals were created, they appeared on animated TV shows. They were actually a really popular cartoon back when I was a kid. I know, that was a long time ago. Well, each Care Bear is a different color, and they have different symbols on their bellies, and they call those belly badges. That represents their personality. So one of them is Cheer Bear. Cheer Bear is a very happy bear because um, that helps others see the bright side of things. And she sometimes e will even do a cheer to make people happier. She wears a symbol of hope and happiness on her tummy, and that's the rainbow. There's Good Luck Bear. This one's my favorite. I like the green one. Um, good Luck Bear is loaded with luck, and he loves to share it with anybody in need of some good fortune. So the symbol on his tummy is a lucky four-leaf clover. You can see that? Um, there's Grumpy Bear. Grumpy Bear is this blue one. Let's see if I can get it closer so you can see. Um, Grumpy Bear has been known to wear a frown, but that's not to show us how how to be unhappy. It's just to kind of show us that we're silly when we have a frown on our face. He shows us that it's okay to be grumpy sometimes, but even if we are grumpy, we're still loved. And we're reminded by that because on his belly symbol, he has a rain cloud and there are little hearts for raindrops that are coming out of it. Share Bear is another one of the artist's bears. Share Bear thinks um, that sharing is just a great treat. Um, she shows that with her symbol. She has two heart-shaped lollipops on her belly, one for herself and one an extra one for a friend. So this one's Cher Bear. So today I'm going to show you some Care Bear activities um, that we're going to get to do as a drawing activity for art. On YouTube, you'll find many drawing tutorials on how to draw Care Bears, and I've included a link for you on your assignment if you want to draw a traditional Care Bear like this one. So this is a Care Bear that I learned to draw online by following the tutorial. I watercolored it, and then I got to design my own symbol on the bear's tummy. For your assignment, you're going to be designing a Care Bear to show how much we care about our community in this difficult time that we're going through right now. With the coronavirus, all of our schools are canceled and people are being asked to stay at home so we can keep everyone safe and healthy and have them not get sick. So for this bear, I designed a house on her tummy and I named her Stay at Home Bear. Okay, if we all stay at home, then we'll help people get better and not so many people will be exposed to the virus and getting sick. So this was my version of stay at home bear. I did another drawing tutorial on YouTube of a Care Bear and I designed this one. Um, I learned how to draw the bear. I colored her blue with crayon and then I went back and I added a band-aid to her tummy and I named this one Make a Difference Bear. The reason I call her Make a Difference Bear is that we have so many medical workers that are out there making a difference by helping people get better. You can make a difference at home too by doing things like staying home, staying six feet away from people, and by washing your hands regularly. Another bear I created is a little bit different. This is a bear that I designed on my own. It doesn't look like your traditional care bear, but I did leave an empty spot on the tummy where I could do the belly badge just like the care bears have. On this one I drew germs, and I called this one germ fighting bear because we want to work hard to fight germs right now so that everybody can get better. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw the bear like this germ fighting bear. When you do your assignment, you might choose to draw that bear 
Or you might choose to do one of the tutorials on YouTube on how to draw a traditional Care Bear. And either one is fine for me. Now I've lightly penciled out my drawing just so that I wouldn't make any mistakes during my tutorial video, but you guys will get to draw yours as we go. I recommend drawing in pencil first, and then when you're finished you can go back over in Sharpie. So one of the things I wanted to do is fill my page with my bear. So I started my bear's head about two finger spaces down from the top of my paper. So at the top of my paper for the bear's head, I'm going to start out by giving him some fur right at the top of his head. It almost kind of looks like a, like a bird or bat wings right at the top of the head. Now from that, I'm going to go ahead and come down and do some more fur on the side of the head. They don't even have to be straight lines. Mine are kind of jaggedy and curved. And then I'm going to make some more fur that's kind of pointy and hairy and comes down to make his chin. Then I'm going to come up with some fur on the other side of his head to finish him off. Okay. Now my bear is going to need some ears, so over on this side I'm going to go ahead and draw the start of my ear on the top. And another one over here on that side for the start of the ear there. Now remember, my bear is kind of hairy, so my lines are kind of jaggedy. I'm not doing very straight lines. I'm going to put some more furry lines in the middle of that ear. So that looks like the ear opening. Alright, now as for the eyes. Now, this was my, my germ fighting bear, so I tried to make him look a little tough. So he has kind of some mean, ferocious eyes. So at the top of his eyebrows, I'm going to do some arches, just like those two. And then in the center of the arches, I'm going to make an upside down V. I'm going to give him some, some furry hair right at the corner of those eyebrows. And then my next step is to draw his eyes. So for the eyes, I'm going to do an arch similar to the eyebrow. And I'm going to do that arch on each side. Underneath the arch, I'm going to make a curved line that connects each side, just like that. And then I'm going to draw some circles inside of the eye to make his eyeballs. Okay. I'm going to give him some fur on his cheeks. Those are just zigzag lines. And then I'm ready to do his nose. For his nose, I'm going to start out by making a rainbow. Now, feel free if you're watching this tutorial to pause the video anytime if you feel like you're falling behind. You can also set your YouTube settings to slower speed so that I don't go quite so fast. After I've made my rainbow for his nose, I'm going to come in with some little curves on each side. And then I'm going to come down with another V-shaped. So I'm ready to do the edges of his snout. To do that, I'm just going to put some curves on each side of the nose. I'm going to give him a pouty face, the chin. So after I have my bear's head done, I'm ready to move on to his arms. So for his arms, I'm going to come out on each side to make a shoulder that's just going to curve around slightly. That shoulder is going to curve from the elbow into an arm. At the end of that arm, I'm going to do a sideways rainbow or a curved line. I'm going to give him a little finger back here. And then his next finger is going to come and curve all the way around into the other side of his arm. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So from that elbow, I'm going to bring that line down. And I'm going to put that sideways rainbow I told you about, or the curved line, whichever you want to call it. I'm going to give him a finger. And then his second finger is going to be the one that curves around all the way into the arm. So here is where his armpits are going to go. 
So for his armpits, I'm just going to give him a body line and another line that connects to the arm. He's looking good so far. I'm going to slide him up just a little bit so you can see. I am ready to go ahead and make the hips and the legs. So for the hips, remember I have a hairy bear. So I'm just going to give him some zigzag lines coming down on each side. At the bottom of those zigzag lines, I'm going to give him a bare foot and another one over on this side. Now, if your lines aren't straight, don't worry, because remember, he's kind of a furry bear. Um, you can even give him some claws if you want to. I don't think I did that on my other one. I'm going to give him some fur and some legs, just like that. All right, so now my bear is ready for a tummy. I'm going to give him a furry tummy. So at the top of his tummy, I'm just going to start doing some zigzag or jagged lines all the way around his tummy in the shape of an oval or a circle. And then I'm going to take those jagged lines or zigzag lines all the way around to the other side. And that is how you draw an angry bear or a tough bear. He kind of looks strong. So just like I had made mine into the germ fighting bear because you have to be strong to fight germs. So your job is going to be to finish your bear by creating some sort of a theme on the tummy to represent your bear's personality and a symbol that shows the name of your bear. So my bear that I created is Germ Fighting Bear. I can't wait to see what kind of bear you create. Now remember, if you don't want to draw this kind of bear, there are lots of tutorials on YouTube for how to draw a traditional Care Bear like the ones I showed you earlier. If you would rather draw a traditional Care Bear, just make sure you follow the link in the assignment that I left for you with your teacher. Can't wait to see what you guys create. Thanks for watching.